your father was picked up by the FBI. When did this happen? My dad was picked up by the FBI about, uh, uh, I think it was February 22nd. He was, from, from what I, uh, I learned about uh, five years ago, he was in the third category. Okay. Uh, so he was not high priority. I, I, one of my friends, his dad was picked up December 7th. There was about 700 guys picked up the December uh, by by the by uh, by the end of the day December 7th. Okay, but uh, so my dad was picked up. Uh, uh, as it turned out, it was on a Saturday. Now in those days, everybody worked on Saturdays. Well, so this was <clears throat> after Pearl Harbor. Okay, I. Uh, uh, I mentioned that my mom and dad, my oldest brother working at a market, well then my oldest, my, my next brother, he had uh, gone through graduation <clears throat> but, uh, in February, but anyway, um, uh, so my mom, my mom and my uh, two older brothers are working at the market. My dad's sick that day, so he's in bed. So my sister and I, uh, uh, on a Saturday morning, my sister and I, but then I go to a playmate's house. And I just learned this from my sister about four years ago. I remember to ask her. She said about 9.30 in the morning, banging on the front door. Before she could open it, two guys come into the house. Says, where's your father? My sister says he's sick. So then one guy starts going looking through the house for my dad. My sister said that the other guy, every place where we had drawers, you know, uh, in the cabinet, where there were papers, he dumps them on the floor, and he's got papers scattered all over the place. He's looking for something. My sister said, they don't tell me nothing. When Pop's dressed, they haul him off. She, she said, I don't know where he's going or anything. So for three days, we didn't know where Pop was. And we find out, OK, we're in San Diego. We find out that all the dads that were picked up in San Diego are up here in Los Angeles. Okay. So then uh, my oldest brother, he <clears throat> packed up a suitcase full of clothes because my dad only went out of the house with the clothes he had on. Anyway, people down in San Diego carpooled and they, they all came up here so that their dads could have, our, our dads could have, have uh, uh, more clothing. And we don't know what all is going to happen. It ends up that, uh, that he, uh, he ended up in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yeah. And it, it's only because uh, about, uh, it's been about three or four years, we found a little spiral notebook, had my dad's writing in it, in Japanese. He had a, kept a short diary in Santa Fe. It's only then that I would, I knew exactly what happened to him, even though I had his uh, copy of his papers from our post and the, uh, say his file of, of papers in post, and I got his in mine, you know, through the, at the from the National Archive. But it was not until we had that notebook translated by one of our fellow docents here at the museum that we found out what kind of anxiety he went through when he was in Santa Fe. Yeah. Wow. Can't you explain any of that to us? Yeah, well, the, the, the thing that really sticks in my mind was the uh, anxiety. The main thing was that he was worried about what was, hap what was happening to us. And apparently they learned that we were going to be sh shipped off to camps. <clears throat> Didn't know where or anything, but they finally got word that we were... Uh, 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 Oh, I guess so. Uh, my oldest brother and my sister had written letters to him saying that we were at Santa Anita. And when, uh, uh, when he had read those letters, he knew we were safe. Uh, but uh, in between there, he describes how he couldn't stop crying because of what uh, uh, the anxiety he was worried about of what was happening to us. But one of the the only other thing I remember offhand that uh, he wrote in the, in his, in the diary. Okay, he came back to us. Uh, 
in July of 45, when we were still at Santa Anita, he was released and he was able to come back to us. But I, I never asked him about, I don't recall ever talking about this, but anyway, in the diary that we had translated, that uh, 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 he was, <clears throat> he couldn't understand how uh, uh, America could be, could be treating us because it was supposed to be like the land of the free and the home of the brave kind of thing.